Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, we are continuing our discussion about greenhouse farming. And I'm coming from a place where we, we talk about low cost um, greenhouse farming. Um, however, the discussions can really climb into um, more high tech uh, greenhouse farming, you know, at least some aspects of it. But I know within the Caribbean, we have a few um, high tech houses, but but a large a percentage of the greenhouses in the Caribbean, they are mostly on the low tech side, right? Or low cost side. Now, what aspect of greenhouse farming are we going to continue talking about in this video? We are going to continue talking about the structural um, covering so the materials that you use to cover the greenhouse whether on the side walls and, and and also on the roof now when you look around the world there are many different well there are a few types of materials that are used to cover the greenhouse now when you think about covering the greenhouse you have to understand that um they are we have temperate countries that are in temperate regions countries that are in um tropical uh um, climatic um conditions now the countries that are in colder climate right they want to basically chop heat but the countries like in the caribbean that are in the tropics they basically want to to get rid of heat and more like cool down um the greenhouse right now you will find that in the temperate areas um like for example like say for example netherlands canada parts of the united states you'll find that they you will see applications such as um, glass, greenhouse, um, polycarbonate sheets and you find that many of these greenhouses are totally enclosed. They basically control everything. They control CO2, airflow, light, um, temperature, humidity um, and, and, and all of that. They control all of those, right? Because it is totally enclosed, right? And, and um, however, in the Caribbean, you find that our greenhouses are not totally um, enclosed where it prevents uh, um, elements from outside from getting inside light um, including here so we mostly use like mesh mesh on our greenhouses right so let us so we have gotten that out of the way so what I'm trying to say is that there are different materials such as glass polycarbonate sheets and then you have the and then you have mesh that is used to cover uh, the greenhouse, um, at least the sidewalls, um, and then you have the greenhouse UV plastic that is used um, on the top of the greenhouse. But as I said, in certain temperate countries, you'll find that even on the top, you'll find glass, right, and polycarbonate sheets as well. But um, in the Caribbean, right, and even in other countries, you'll find that a common application is using mesh on the side and um, greenhouse UV plastic, UV um, representing ultraviolet, um, greenhouse UV plastic on the, on the, on the top. And, and the UV plastic meaning that it, it kind of filters out um, UV ultraviolet rays from getting into the, the greenhouse or affecting the plants, right? So let us get into the mesh because that is the application that is most common in the Caribbean, right? Now, of course, using Jamaica as a representation, many greenhouses in Jamaica basically have a uh, black mesh, shade cloth, but we, which range from 47 to 50% on the side walls of the greenhouse, right? So that is one type of material that you can use, 47 to 50% um, shade cloth on the side. Also, apart from the shade cloth, there is also antiviral mesh, which is 70%, um, right? Bear in mind that the, the larger the number, the smaller the hole in the, um, in, the, in the mesh, right? So, and remember, the smaller the hole, the more pests, insect pests you can block out. Um, and the larger the hole, uh, the more insects will, will be able to pass through. However, you will, you will have more ventilation, more air passing through compared to the final hose in the antiviral um, mesh. 
which would basically block out a, a more insect but it will also um, reduce the amount of airflow going into the greenhouse as well so that's a bit of trade-off right so um having having so those are the, the two common applications in terms of materials used to cover the sidewalls of the greenhouse in the caribbean so as i said you have the antiviral net or mesh which range from 70 percent upwards and then um you have the shade cloth um which 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 i recommend using from between 47 to 50 percent right whatever number you want to choose between 47 and 50 percent now um right so it, it's it's a common application normally you see black people farmers using black mesh but uh, as it relates to antiviral netting i normally see the white the white netting right um so uh the white netting for the antiviral um mesh i've never really seen any other i have never really seen a black color um antiviral netting um and we all know the story with 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 with, with the heat and the colors so white reflects light and uh, um the black kind of absorbs it right uh so the black the black mesh on the greenhouse is not necessarily um great right because it, it basically absorbs heat so it creates that next level or additional heat in the greenhouse that you are trying to cool right compared to a white mesh which basically um it basically reflects the light so it kind of um prevents heat from building up right so um so that is your your basically your two choices that you can use to cover the um the sidewalls of the greenhouse however as i said before bear in mind of the trade-off if you go with the antiviral 70 percent in an in a hot climatic era if you're in an era that is very hot if you go with the 70 percent or higher you're basically going to reduce airflow it will build up unless you have some kind of active ventilation or um some kind of active cooling system then you could use then you could continue with that however you find that persons living in 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 the hot areas and not wanting to to do any active um ventilation or cooling you find that they'll basically use the the shade cloth which is between 47 and 50 percent so that they can have a bit more airflow however they understand that or you have to understand that you will have more insects that can pass through because it holds in the shade cloth 47 to 50 percent is much larger so um even if you start off and you don't and you do not have any pests um believe me they will come so you have to prepare either you're going to do some kind of preventative measure or um you know when they come you you, you understand that your pest management protocols and um and and and, and, and the amount of money you spend based on your management well uh, the amount of money you spend will be based on your management um skills in controlling in 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 managing sorry the whatever pests you encounter with having the larger holes in your shade cloth um, and then now with the the antiviral netting 70 percent and upwards there are finer holes mesh so they will block out a lot more insects so you'll have less insects to deal with in your greenhouse however you will also be sacrificing some amount of airflow going through the greenhouse to um circulate the hair and replacing the air um, um um replacing co2 and all these kind of things so um and then the greenhouse can get hot if you are in an hot area now um if you have any questions about the any more questions about the sidewalls covering you can put them in the comments area right now as it relates to the the roofing the roof cover um you normally we normally use what we call greenhouse greenhouse uv plastic and remember uv stands are ultraviolet um so we use greenhouse uv plastics on the top now depending on your climatic condition in terms of your your um the radiation coming from the sun that is one parameter that you could use to 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 get a plastic because the plastic the greenhouse plastic comes in different thickness so thickness is measured in milli um millimeters 
So uh, you'll have two of the most common applications are three millimeter and um, six millimeter. Um, so the six millimeter is a thicker plastic. So if you are in a like an utter utter climate and you want to kind of reduce that amount of radiation going into the greenhouse, you could use that six millimeter plastic. If you want to, if you if you need a lot more light in the greenhouse, um, you could basically use a three mil plastic, which would let you more um light, right? So, um, use use your climatic condition factor in terms of um, um the sunlight coming in, and so on. Uh, you know the radiation from the sun. Just think about that where you are and how it feels. Um, if you have meters, you could measure the. Um, the light and so on so um, use that to determine what size plastic you use but plastic is what we put on greenhouses in the Caribbean right unless you have this an high-tech facility that you could use polycarbonate sheet or you could use glass where you would control everything inside the greenhouse right um, so so uh, and then now the vents the vent, the vent, the horizontal vent on the greenhouse, you basically use the same material that you use on the sidewalk. So if you, if you are using antiviral netting, which is 70% and up, on the sidewalls, you, you also use that for the, the vent as well. If you are using shade cloth, which is between 47 and 50%, I recommend, if you are using shade cloth, then you, you use this, this, uh, the same shade cloth material. Or you could use you could interchange them basically. So if you're using shade cloth on the side, you could use antiviral netting um, in the vent area. You know you could you could also do that. Um, but as I, as I was discussing earlier about the the color, if you can get a a shade cloth that is white, that would be much better than the black shade cloth, right? And I explain about the the black trapping heat. Are absorbing heat and the white reflecting um, the light so the white would be much better so if you could get a white shade cloth that would be good right um, as I said I've oh, I've only seen the antiviral netting which is 70% and in white um, I think they might have them in other color I've never seen them in black um, so uh, that is a friendly tip for you just try and get white shade shade cloth to put on the side if you are using shade cloth if not you can't find any fine go ahead and use a black shade cloth it is um, a color that that is commonly used in jamaica most greenhouse farmers in jamaica use um uh black shade cloth 40 between 47 and 50 percent on the sides of their greenhouse so um i hope this information wasn't too technical i hope it was beneficial um there was a subscriber that asked about the the material to put on the side and on the vent and also on the roof roof i hope this information is helpful to you and i hope it is helpful to all my subscribers and basically other persons who are watching these my videos right um there's a lot more information where greenhouse is concerned um so if you have any other specific questions you could always um shoot me an email my email is mc agritech at gmail.com and i always put my email in the description box but i'm going to start putting it putting it in the comments here as well so just shoot me an email reach out to me and i'll i lead a, uh, if you know most questions that are asked i feel like they, they are very beneficial to others so i normally just sometimes just do a video um, answering the question so it could benefit others because not everyone will read the comments right okay so um uh please remember to subscribe <laughs> subscribe to the channel and i'll see you again in another video bye bye